let's bring my final guest out. She is one of our finest writers and actors. Will you please welcome the incomparable Emma Thompson? <laughs> Great to have Emma Thompson on. It's miles back there. Well, uh, uh, happy new year to you. Thank Let's you. Let's start by that. You look. Uh, I get the feeling. Maybe I'm wrong. You're the sort of person. You've got focus. You've got resolve. If you make a New Year's resolution, I imagine you would stick to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I think I think there's very little that can't be clarified or illuminated by, you know, an, a run, a good run of about an hour and a half, which is why I'm very much. Still in the dark. So, so this is this is a new resolution. They got it. Just, He's not yeah. even listening. <laughs> He's not even listening. That was quite a good joke. And I was working up. I was working up while I was talking to Brooke. I'm a bit grumpy about her. Why? Why? Because she's so nice. And you think that looking like that, she'd have the decency to be unpleasant. You think she'd? Be... <laughs> Whereas Paddy is instantly disliking her. Instantly. <laughs> and instantly. Instantly. Nothing nice about it. Uh, he's lovely. Hey, what a remarkable career. Uh, obviously, it's far from over. But, and I wonder, do you watch any of your old movies I on a regular basis? I never watch them, no. I never do. Why not? They... I just think, oh, God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I could have done that better. He really? Well, that's, oh, that's even one, like the ones you've won Oscars? And you, you even yeah, I don't, I don't tend to watch them. Maybe it's that thing of getting older and not wanting to look at yourself in the past somehow. It's a very strange thing if you think about it. Bet, having yeah. that... It's not like having home movies where you look back at yourself, although that's strange enough. Because I suppose it's not just the way you, the, your looks have changed, it's the way your acting has changed yeah. and the way you would do stuff. So I guess there are things play, you would do differently. I'm playing the Queen next week. Wow. And what's odd about that is the first time I did the Queen, it was a sketch and it was Frankie Howard's speech. So, so it was the Queen's voice and everything, but it was the, oh, no, titty not, <laughs> madam, I know your sort, all fur coat and no knickers. Um, and I thought, oh, God, I hope I don't slip into that, you know, sketch, <laughs> sketch comedy, which is what I started, you yeah. know, it's very... So what are you doing the Queen in? What that's going to be? What's that? It's a be? short for Sky. And oh, it's is about it one that where you time when Michael Fagan, yeah. you know, the intruder, got into her bedroom. That was weird. Got in through Prince Charles's window. Is that? His office window, apparently. And, and then he stood at the end of the Picture bed. Picture the scene. What did he? What happened to him? He just. He... I don't know. I think he. I think he wasn't well. I think we can safely assume. <laughs> <that>. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he, yeah. Uh, you know, I always thought of you as being just super English, OK? About as English as English can be. Yeah, maybe it's because you speak so well and because I know... I don't speak well. I've got a very nasal London glottal accent. But you, you do speak well. Well, I do speak well you when I'm being speak, paid to speak to. well. Um, <laughs> on screen, you speak very, very well. Yes. Uh, but you're, is it you're half Scottish? Or I'm half, my mum's Scottish. I didn't realise it. Your mum's half Scottish? I'm actually from Glasgow. So, so we live half in Scotland and, and half in London, so all the holidays... I, that's what I had growing up in London. Scotland, for me, it saved my life, really, because the first seven years we lived in a little flat. So the, the, the idea of trees and, 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 and lochs and mountains and everything, yeah. I used to dream about going to Scotland when I was little. Oh, God, actually, this is a good story. It's just come to me. Getting older, about getting older, um, <laughs> <laughs> which I'm noticing more and more frequently. We were, we were there last summer and... Um, and Guy and I were on our own for some reason. Greg must have been working. And we were... So we were in the big bed together in flannelette 90s and, you know, cos, obviously, I know how to live. Yeah. And <laughs> so there was this incredible kind of real loud banging on the door and I thought, oh, my God, we're alone. This up the, up the glen, I thought. <laughs> well, so I went down and there was this massive policeman in the porch, huge, and I thought, strange. So I opened the door and said, hello. And he said, um, oh, hello. Um, I'm sorry to bother you. You're very difficult to find up here. I said, yes, that's the idea. And, <laughs> and he said, but we've just had, uh, we just had somebody ring up and say that um, you've had an intruder on your land. And I said, an intruder? So, of course, picturing immediately yeah. axe man behind bush. Scary. And I, th I said, really? When? What, what, what sort of intruder? Well, he said, there was a dog worker coming up the, through the, the path there, saw a, a naked man about 50 years old coming through your field. And I said, 
Really? Naked axe man behind Bush immediately, you know. <laughs> Christ! And I was really worried because I, I, it was this sort of terrifying. And I, you know that feeling of like burglars in your house and everything? I said, what time? You know, just, well, I mean, it was during the day. It was sometime in the afternoon and she rang us later on and I just wonder if you were all right. From uh, behind me on the stairs, Gaia, in her PJs, going, wasn't that about the time that you came up from the river, Mum? <laughs> So, because down the house there's a field, there's a pond, and I there's only sheep in the field, and they don't mind if I walk up the field naked. At least I don't think they do. They're probably just all saying, "Oh, she's coming. Just keep eating. Just keep eating." <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, and and I thought, oh my god! And I made the connection, and I could see the same thing happening to the policeman. And I could see him as he backed off, thinking he's going to go back to the station. He's going to say, "See that Emma Thompson? See her?" Her tits must be so low that from a distance they read as testicles. Uh, I nearly oh lifted up. I'm sure. The, I'm sure. To go, it's, I'm it's, sure they're, they're not, proud. They're fine. They're I'm not. I'm sure they're splendid. They're not that proud. They're slightly ashamed. I'm sure. They're <laughs> Um, let me ask you about your writing, because it, Emma has won an Oscar, not just for acting, but she won an Oscar for writing as well. Mm. It's incredible, for Sense of Sensibility, for mm. the screenplay there. Congratulations. It was, yeah, it was... It's only about 100 years ago. It's so, it's incredible. Which one was that? How then was the performance of yeah. Sense of Sensibility, the screenplay? Yeah. Uh, and so we phoned to check, we phoned the Oscar Academy, and they said absolutely the, the closest anyone else came, Charlie Chaplin, years ago, was given oh, really? a kind of honorary award for writing, but it wasn't specifically for a screenplay. So you're the only human being on the planet who's achieved that. <gasps> that is quite something. But you're writing still, you wrote yes. the Nanny McPhee films, and now here's the thing, if I've got this correct, is this right, you're adapting Annie? Yeah. The, so the musical Annie, which was initially many years ago, it was a Sunday newspaper strip in America, uh, and you are adapting this with the possibility of Will Smith's daughter, Willow. It's for Willow Smith, for Willow, yeah. Who whips her hair back and forth, I, I know you know that. And, and here's the, the, the super exciting thing, I think, is already a great combination. The, uh, the score is going to be provided by... Jay-Z. Jay-Z. <laughs> Uh, because he already did the, uh, he did a rap over he did the rap Hard for Knock Life. Hard Knock Life, exactly. It's a Hard Knock Life, yeah. Boomba. And the songs are going to be some new material. Some, some new material but and rap, some is it going to be the music one. they call rap? Uh, some of it might be. And, I think, and do I don't you know. do you enjoy the music they call rap? Are you au fait with the sound of the rap I generation? Am, I, mean, I am. I am. Sometimes I like it, but who's I have favorite, got who's a Who's your favourite rapper bit... apart from Jay Z? Okay, all right, you've got me. All right, I don't listen to the modern music except Florence and the Machine, what she's on. But it, actually, I still listen to her. Actually. What about what about? DMX? I'm not just saying it because she's there and nice. Okay, she is terrific. Really, she's nice. not a rap. Though. No, she's, she's absolutely not. brilliant. She's not a rap artist, but I get. I do like some rap. I like Eminem. I think he's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Did I say that right? Did yes. I say the name right? <laughs> <laughs> but every song now seems to have a bit of a tune, and then someone. Raps. Raps in the middle. The top, yeah. And then there's a bit, another bit of tune. And they all seem to be... Am I right in thinking that? They're all the same shape. So, <laughs> when the, the, there's a bit of tune and then someone... I know, and then there's another bit of tune. And I is think, that how it sounds <laughs> to you, Emma? <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of correct, though. I, I can't true. argue. I can't argue with that. I it's true. And it, I mean, it's, it is true yeah. because we're old farts now, yes. Jonathan. And there's no, there's no. We're in denial. But it's true. Um, how lovely to have you here. I think you'll agree. What just splendid person to spend some time with. The lovely Emma Thompson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you so much. Stay put for the music. So lovely.